Christmas. We got a intercooler. It's gonna be very tight, like. This is just a little hot. This is disgusting. I should just cut this, it's totally useless. Wow, it's gonna be tight. I feel the whole weight. Just a little bit of custom work. All right, everyone, welcome back. So if you guys saw our latest Instagram post, we got a intercooler. Uh, we got it from a local scrapyard. The truck that we got it out of was an O2 Super Duty. So if you know anything about the Super Duty 7.3s, only the nine, early 99 Super Duties Spider will actually work on the OBS trucks. In late 99, they switched to a slightly different style. They increased to three inches on the plenum intakes, as well as change where the spider sits. This is out of no two, which it will not work on our truck. So we are gonna modify this, as well as the factory OBS uh, Y bridge to be able to work with our truck. And this is gonna be kind of a part one video to do an intercooler uh, on our truck. Uh, and that is what we're doing here today. And so some of the issues why this won't work on an OBS is where the turbo mounts is a different size. This is the factory one from our truck. And you can see it just, this one's way bigger, as well as these parts going into the actual intake plenum. These are three inches, and the factory OBS ones are two and a quarter. There's a couple of things that we can do for this. This is probably the easiest part. You can go get the O2 Super Duty plenums, which is what I'm gonna do. You can also get a boot coupler to go from this size back down to this size. But the biggest issue is what to do from the turbo with the charge pipe. So what? we are going to do is we're going to cut this portion off and make it nice and smooth through here we're also going to get rid of all these attachments and then we're going to take the factory y bridge we're going to cut this arm off and it's going to sit onto the turbo kind of like this and then i can route this to the charge pipe this is going to be fairly temporary we're going to put proper pipes on when we do a, a turbo upgrade that might be later this year or early next year so this is just gonna this is gonna work and i'm gonna test to make sure is holding pressure, but this works just fine. Just a little bit of custom work. I should just cut this, it's totally useless. Actually, we bought one for our first Duramax. I think it ended up being $450 US. I'm just gonna put something on the top of the yard. I want to see if I could cut a little bit more off of it. I just don't want to damage this surface. All right, so this was the white bridge. We cut that one arm off. Now I'm gonna cut this and fit here and weld it on. Now I'll cover up that hole. I'm also thinking of drilling and tapping this to be able to put a boost probe into it other than the way off, uh, my truck has it right now. If this setup doesn't quite work, I've seen other people cutting this piece off and then welding pipe onto here to make over to the um, intercooler pipe. If this doesn't work, that's gonna be the option I do and I know that this will be a lot easier to put a coupler onto and weld it. Although, this is kind of why I want it, is this is a nice, easy surface to put a coupler onto to make it bigger. And it's already kind of at a nice, nice angles start to go towards the back because the intercooler pipes from the Super Duty are three inches too short for the OBS trucks. So we have to find a way to come up with that. I was hoping that this will start to come up with that and then I can either get a longer um, boot or put a smaller piece of piping in there with a second boot. On the uh, cold side, passenger side, I'm just gonna have to put a intermediate pipe there. Um, I'd like to take both pipes and get them welded longer and welded by somebody. But for the time being, we're gonna get this set up this way and then I can um, polish it off a little bit later. Not pretty, but it'll work. <laughs> what does this work? This is really good. Darth Vader. Is it gonna work? Yeah. I just have to keep the cutting. I need to be able to get all of this crap off. It's just a little hot. <laughs> It'd be a lot easier to cut off this for the <laughs> <laughs> What have you been using? A grinding disc. <laughs> a thin grinding disc. But like, look how thick some of it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit more off of this plate. And then that was lining up decently. 
Uh, and then we are going to weld it on. Okay, so to kind of be going back and forth between the two as they cool down, I don't what's going on with that one. But this one, this is the piece, it stands up kind of like that, and it goes cold side pipe here, down to the motor. And so this piece that was here like this, this goes to the intercooler, the hot side, which is what we're replacing with this one. So I need to be able to get more of this metal out of the way, all of this big chunk out of the way to have room for this to go into here. With that being said, just the size of this bulge might not fit past how big this, this tube is. So if that's the case, what we will end up doing is cutting this end piece off and then putting a turn on there and doing it a little bit differently. I was hoping to be able to do this because of how easy it would be. Just one weld right here and then I can build up here. If I have to cut this piece off and then build off of here, it's a little bit more work to get a nice bend to go past here, but it might be the only option. We'll find out how this is gonna sit in, a, in accordance to this. From photos I've seen online, it's pretty tight and just looking at how much more metal I have to take off of here and how big this end piece actually is, this just might not work, period. Um, but I guess we'll find out when we get to that point. If there's not enough room, it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be very tight, like touching tight. It does go up quite a bit. Oh, I gotta be really careful. Yeah, it goes way up. That's why I have to be really careful when I'm cutting this We're off here. Making a hole in there. Yeah, and that would be very bad because you can't weld this. If, if, I, be if I screw this up, <laughs> We're buying the, the intercooler. I've been looking for one of these for how long? Like since we bought the truck. This is the first truck that's showing up that has the power stroke like that. All right, so I got that one piece cut off, as you can see, did a decent job. I could probably take a little bit more off right there, but I just wanna be careful because it'll pop through in here and then this would be garbage. But I'm thinking it should work. This piece, the way this is gonna work is this piece will come in here, just like this. Like I was saying before, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough room right here, and we might have to cut this piece off. But I think the way I'm gonna test this out is once I get this all cleaned up, all the metal shavings and dust is off, I will take the one off of our truck, set this kind of on there where it's gonna be, and then I'll be able to see if this will go on in place. It's gonna end up being something like that. Even if I have to take this down a little bit and weld it, if that's all it needs, we'll do that. Otherwise, we'll be manufacturing this whole piece, which I'm basing this off of something I found on the internet and that's what they did. They also have the smaller one of this, so I haven't been able to find anyone that got one of these to work with the factory OBS Turbo. If you guys know anyone that has, link down in the description because it'll be helpful. So I uh, decided to cut this end piece off. This is the one off of my truck right now. So it's just this end piece. And what we're gonna do is gonna take this and fab it up something like this. This will go into the turbo and then we're gonna make this bend. How I need to, to connect to the driver's side or hot side uh, intercooler pipe. So off the Super Duty, it actually goes this way. And if you turn it upside down on the OBS trucks like this, it's a lot easier to fit in there. Um, it comes up a lot sooner. So we're just gonna get this old insulation off, clean it up a little bit, and we're gonna start trying to figure where it's gonna go. You come over here. At the bottom there is where it's gonna go. Uh, there's a little bit of rat support that has to move out of the way to be able to really mock it up, so I'm just kind of getting a rough guess right now, seeing how I need to route this. One thing I can see that's gonna be in the way is this power steering line, so I will have to uh, see which way is gonna be easiest to move it out of the way. I'm thinking towards the pulley. Right now I'm trying to push it away from the pulley, but towards the pulley, will likely give us the most amount of room and I'm hoping to have it come up and under here. The other way that I've seen it is up over here like this, but we will see once we have that thing cleaned off and shoved into place. This is disgusting. Before we do anything permanent, we're gonna paint them, clean them up and paint them nice. What? I never understood the whole painting stuff in the engine thing. Okay, so last time I had said that we might keep this and then just wall this over there, I decided to not go that way and I cut the attachment off or the clamp part off. And I think this is gonna work a lot better. It's a lot cleaner and then I can bend this a little bit easier than, than this. <laughs> oh, Josh. <laughs> Oh my word. Well, at least I got most of it off. To make it usable. Once I have a few things a little bit more out of the way, it'll go like where I need it to go. Pretty much like that. That will go like that. That's very oily. Wow, it's gonna be tight. I feel the whole weight. <laughs> I'm tight. I'm 
I can like turn it a little bit like that so that it can give me a little bit more room. I might have to cut this opening out and just weld onto this to make it have a little bit more room. What's gonna have to happen? I need like 90 degree now, like immediate out. There's no way that this would have fit the way I was planning on doing it. See, With, was, without cutting off that yeah, bulge without, on yeah, it? Yeah, there's no way that way it would have worked. Okay, yeah, let's see if we can bend this. Okay, use like a pipe or something. I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna bend that in. See, I almost need to do this. If I just if I put this on here and then I cut into here at whatever angle I need, something like that. Make like an angle or what? Yeah, on so the I'd, end? I'd cut into here and I'd put it into here and then just. All right, so that's roughly what we're going to be doing. This is just kind of a mock-up to see if this will even work. Uh, like I said, it's off of an 01, so it was never meant to fit onto this turbo setup. But I think I can get it to work. We're just going to plug up these holes, and then the next thing is actually installing the intercooler, and then I can start to um, actually make the piping for it. There is a kit I saw that gets the OBS piping, so you don't have to route any of this. But no matter what, I will have to make the piece coming right off of the turbo. That's probably going to be the main source of fabricating this. With the way that the one I have on there is currently flared out, I might have to cut that flaring down just to get it to come in here and then cut some of, the, some of this down to bend it in and make a little bit tighter turn. If I can find a 90 degree pipe from like Canadian Tire or um, Amazon or something, I would do that because it needs to be almost immediately 90. But we will see how that goes. That's for another video. But thanks for watching.